We're together now. We'll have plenty of time to discuss whatever you wish. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 best fantasy shows. You want a real thing? Come and get some of this! For this list, we'll be looking at the best TV shows that are filled with magic, monsters, and adventure. We won't be including any animated shows on this list because they could fill up a list of their own. Which magical show filled you with wonder? Head to those comments and let us know. Number 20. Shadow and Bone During its first season, Netflix's Shadow and Bone proved to be a great adaptation of Lee Bardugo's books. When I was young, I was afraid of the dark. When I got older, I learned that darkness is a place and it's full of monsters. It's set in a world that's been ravaged by flesh-eating monsters and a barrier of darkness. Those known as Grisha hone elemental powers in a hidden city to help save their world. Throughout the exciting story, we follow a rare Grisha that can summon light named Alina. But in order to save everyone, she has to deal with warring parties, assassins, and others vying for power. Jesse May Lee and Ben Barnes shine in the two lead roles, and the show has excelled in building its world with rich characters and intriguing lore. We're glad Netflix shined a light on this great fantasy series. Number 19. American Gods We love seeing Neil Gaiman's stories in live action. While American Gods isn't the most celebrated adaptation of his works, it still deserves credit for bringing an ambitious premise to life. Yes, this must be your lucky day, huh? After being released from prison, Shadow Moon is hired by Ian McShane's enigmatic Mr. Wednesday. Together, they have to avoid and negotiate with old gods who are fighting to remain relevant in a world filled with newer deities and technology. The show draws from multiple mythologies to keep us on our toes. Whether the narrative is focused on Norse deities like Odin or African folktale icons like Anansi, there's always plenty of intrigue to pull you in. Although the series was cancelled after its third season, it's still a divine experience worth watching. I am Odin! Number 18. Teen Wolf who would have thought that adapting a cheesy Michael J. Fox comedy from the 80s into a teen drama would have worked so well? After being turned into a werewolf, young Scott McCall defends his hometown from a variety of supernatural threats. The show features a wealth of great monsters, including banshees, skinwalkers, and kitsune. And the series is also full of deep storylines and incredible performances. While Tyler Posey is great as Scott, we'll always be grateful to the show for putting Dylan O'Brien in the spotlight. The series was so well received that Paramount Plus expressed interest in a tie-in film after the main story ended. It looks like the moon hasn't set on Teen Wolf. Parents are proud. Your girlfriend loves you, huh? Everything else is, uh, cream cheese. Number 17, Grimm. It's always fun to see fairy tales get remixed, reimagined, and repackaged to fit a contemporary setting. Grimm is one of the best examples of this trend. Throughout its run, it was part police procedural and part fantasy drama. Audiences saw Detective Nick Burkhart hunt various mythological creatures to keep balance between our worlds. He's also the latest in a long line of Grimms, who were tasked with handling dangerous magical beasts without getting killed. Despite the dark premise, the show actually has a lot of humor. The resulting product is a narrative that can go from being uproariously funny to legitimately scary. Mommy wants me to tell you something. Diana? Number 16. Dark Shadows Before an attempted revival of this property became a critical 2012 flop, Dark Shadows was an unassuming gothic soap opera that started airing weekdays in the 60s. Viewers followed a motley crew of mystery-shrouded yuppies. Oh, and it turns out that their oddball cousin Barnabas is actually an immortal vampire. Supernatural shenanigans ensued as they faced off against werewolves, warlocks, witches, and other unearthly abominations. The show worked so well because it did well at making fantasy elements fit in soap opera conventions. Lovely. It reminds me of... Of what? Of the past. Of a long, long time ago. 
Eventually, it became popular enough to warrant two feature-length films that were received a lot better than the 2012 remake. Number 15. Sabrina the Teenage Witch What do you get when you combine three witches, a talking cat, and a wacky assortment of supernatural cameos? You get a delightful weekly sitcom. Oh, look, Hilda. She's levitating right on schedule. Let's wake her up and tell her she's a witch. The story revolved around a young girl who's just trying to come to terms with high school, young love, and omnipotent occult powers. While it was fun to see the zany scenarios she got herself into, it was also fun to follow her aunts, Zelda and Hilda, their mortal ally Harvey, and the wisecracking Salem. The sound of the can opener is the only thing that makes me feel truly alive. We got to see new versions of Sabrina and the cast in a decidedly more serious 2018 series. Although the newer show definitely had some high points, the original series remains as the more beloved fantasy sitcom. Number 14. Penny Dreadful For fans who prefer their fantasy to be exceptionally dark, it doesn't get more grim than Penny Dreadful. Viewers watch a medium named Vanessa Ives battle horrific creatures she comes across. Not only is Eva Green fantastic as Vanessa, but Penny Dreadful also excels at bringing characters from across pop culture to life. The show's excellent writing gave us one of the best adaptations of Frankenstein we've seen in years. Delightfully macabre and gothic, the series grew stronger with each new season and earned a slew of Emmy nominations in the process. Penny Dreadful's grim tone, deep characterization of well-known characters, and great cast make it a must-watch for fantasy fans. Highly impressive. Especially your finale. Well, you gotta leave him one and more, as we say in show business. Number 13. The Magicians Based on Lev Grossman's trilogy, The Magicians show us what happens after students are inducted into a magical school. While the plot isn't unique for the genre, the show goes in exciting directions after it's set up. The series explores the disconnect between what its characters thought magic was as kids and how deadly it actually is. The deep camaraderie between the students also makes each character feel much more engaging. And throughout the narrative, the magic itself remains the main star. The show has awesome special effects for the small screen. The magician's combination of great visuals and compelling characters sucked viewers in and kept them coming back to see what dangers were lurking outside the classroom. How did you get here? I, well, I can't really explain that. No, me neither. It was so weird. I, I, I went into an elevator and then I got out of the elevator. Oh, yeah, thank God, thank God. Thank God what? No, thank God that you're confused too. I just, I just started these new meds today and I thought maybe... Number 12. Bewitched this charming classic kicked off a cycle of shows that dealt with the intrusion of supernatural elements in an all-too-normal reality. This comedy sees the young and unassuming Darren Stevens get more than he bargains for when he marries a centuries-old witch named Samantha. Not only does he have to get used to her abilities, but he must also deal with a strange extended family comprised of other witches and warlocks. Week after week, audiences kept coming back to see what wacky natural and supernatural conflicts the young couple would have to deal with. The show's influence helped shape critically acclaimed shows like WandaVision decades later. By the end of its run, it's safe to say that Bewitched cast a spell on pop culture. I've got a lot of faith in you. Oh, thank you, darling. Number 11. What We Do in the Shadows while plenty of fantasy shows focus on popular monsters, none of them do it quite like What We Do in the Shadows. Based on Taika Waititi and Jemaine Clement's film of the same name, the mockumentary series focuses on the hilarious misadventures of three vampire roommates. The show does a great job at capturing the movie's sense of humor while greatly expanding on the premise. One of the funniest additions is an energy vampire named Colin. When we're not laughing at him, we're enjoying how out of touch the three leads are with the modern world. The show has featured ghosts, werewolves, witches, and even a Babadook. Since every single role is perfectly cast, it's impossible to name our favorite character from this hilarious series. I think perhaps the best place to start is to look around here. Number 10. Once Upon a Time when ABC's Once Upon a Time brought many classic fantasy characters into our world, it added a charming new layer to characters we grew up with. 
It initially follows Emma Swan searching for her birthplace with her son Henry. It turns out that she comes from a world of fairy tales whose inhabitants were transported to our reality via a dark spell cast by a queen. While the story could have settled with just having classic fairy tale figures make cameos, it goes the extra mile to make sure every cast member is three-dimensional. If fans want to see complex versions of their favorite characters in an enthralling story, this series is a dream come true. The effect would be permanent. Number 9. The Witcher Within this highly watched and critically acclaimed Netflix show, witchers are mutated to perform magic and hunt down terrifying creatures. After quickly learning that Henry Cavill's Geralt is one of these elite warriors, we get insight into how dangerous his job can be. The actor believably sells the hero's gruff nature and is mesmerizing during the incredible fight scenes. Outside of Geralt, we got heavily invested in the stories of the magical Yennefer and determined Ciri. While the first season could be hard to follow because of its frequent time jumps, the second season received more praise for making the narrative linear, emotional, and action-packed. The fantastic story and characters made The Witcher into one of Netflix's sharpest fantasy series. Toss a coin to your Witcher, O oh Valley of Plenty, whoa. Toss a coin to your Witcher, a friend of humanity. Number 8. Xena, Warrior Princess Sometimes spin-off shows can struggle to measure up to their original. It's not easy proving you're a different person. But that was not a problem for Xena at all. The fantasy romp starred the fantastic Lucy Lawless kicking ass as the title warrior. She wasn't afraid to battle deities or dangerous monsters during her awesome adventures. And along the way, Xena made sure her very close friend Gabrielle became a capable warrior too. Audiences couldn't get enough of these heroines saving the day each week. Despite being a spinoff, this show actually received higher ratings, more praise, and a bigger episode count than its Herculean predecessor. Xena's dedication to championing female fantasy protagonists made it resonate with fans then and now. I love you, Xena. How am I supposed to go on without you? Number 7. Good Omens while it was originally planned as a limited series, fans were ecstatic when a second season was announced. An overreaction, if you ask me. An adaptation of Neil Gaiman's and Terry Pratchett's novel, the series follows an angel and a demon who team up to stop Armageddon due to loving life on Earth. The show succeeds at making significant Christian figures feel relatable. It helps that the dialogue is so refreshingly quirky that you wouldn't want to miss a single word. Thanks to Michael Sheen and David Tennant's unbelievably superb chemistry, returning to the story during every episode was an absolute treat. I like to think none of this would have worked out if you weren't at heart, just a little bit, a good person. Who knew bringing an angel and a demon together at the brink of Armageddon could be so much fun? Number 6. Charmed Charmed is another great fantasy show that features a cast of all-female leads taking down threats with awesome magical powers. This time around, we get to know a trio of sisters as they use their gifts to protect innocence. Seeing the siblings battle enemies like warlocks, demons, and even the headless horsemen throughout the 8th season run was always a good time. But what really made the show succeed was the dynamic between its three leads. Shannon Doherty, Holly Marie Combs, and Alyssa Milano really felt like sisters. Amazingly, the chemistry still remained strong when Rose McGowan replaced Doherty. This tight bond between three magical women fighting evil made an already enchanting experience even better. Whose bright idea was this anyway? Number 5. Outlander Based on Diana Gabaldon's cherished book series, Outlander follows a World War II nurse who is somehow transported through time to Scotland in the year 1743. She then decides to use her knowledge of the future to help others. While the premise is great on its own, the chemistry between Katrina Balfe's Claire and Sam Hewen's Jamie really made the series into a smash hit. But when I stand before God, I'll have one thing to say to weigh against all the rest. Their romance is the heart of the show that kept viewers invested in between all the fantasy elements. The gorgeous scenery, heart-stopping battles, and surprising plot have made Outlander into a series that's likely to stand the test of time.
Number 4. Buffy the Vampire Slayer Although Buffy Summers wanted to have a normal high school experience when the show began, it quickly became clear that she couldn't avoid her calling to be a slayer of evil. You know, I just wanted to start over. Be like everybody else, have some friends, you know, maybe a dog, but no. <gasps> had to come here. You couldn't go suck on some other town." Throughout the series, we watch her struggle to balance supernatural experiences with realistic struggles. The show's strong sense of humor made it stand out in a field of high fantasy shows. And it wasn't afraid to take risks to create ambitious stories like the mostly dialogue-free Hush episode. While the show had lots going for it, it wouldn't have thrived without Sarah Michelle Gellar's iconic and layered performance as the titular Buffy. She commanded a show that had more than enough substance and innovation to keep die-hard genre fans and casual observers entertained. God! What is your childhood trauma? Number 3. The Good Place Michael Schur's fantastical sitcom shows us what happens when a terrible person named Eleanor Shellstrop accidentally gets into the good afterlife. It's an incredibly selective system. Most people don't make it here, but you. A lawyer who got innocent people off death row. You're special, Eleanor. While we wouldn't dream of spoiling any of the show's twists, believe us when we say it's one of the most original forking comedies you'll ever see. Every single member of this lovable cast of misfits and not robots has a truly unique and well-developed personality. The show also manages to take complex philosophical concepts and make them brilliant sources of comedy. And although the show constantly reinvents itself, it always circles back to its main message that everyone should strive to better themselves. After its perfect finale, we know this Emmy-winning sitcom ended up in the good place. The system is flawless and tampering is quite impossible. Number 2. Supernatural No matter what paranormal menace is on the loose, Sam and Dean Winchester are ready to hop into their Impala and solve the case. This sibling duo combated demons, werewolves, angels, and so much more during their adventures. The leads were great at balancing the show's dark moments and laugh-out-loud scenes. Actors Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles had so much chemistry as Sam and Dean Winchester that you'd be forgiven for thinking they were really brothers. Their adventures were so popular that the show both became the longest-running live-action fantasy series and had an impressive 15-season run. It's no mystery why Supernatural is considered to be one of the most notable fantasy series of all time. So what do we do now? We make our own future. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Game of Thrones There was a time where it felt like Game of Thrones was the biggest show on the planet. Audiences around the world wanted to know whether a noble Stark, cutthroat Lannister, or powerful Targaryen or determined outsider would sit on the Iron Throne. Or they just really wanted to see the stunning dragons. Admittedly, the show's brutal scenes and despised ending tarnished its once flawless reputation. But there's no denying that it managed to soar to stunning heights, too. It featured gorgeous battles, heartbreaking twists, and characters we'll always love. And Game of Thrones broke records by earning 59 Emmys. Although it wasn't perfect, we may never see a fantasy series of its like reign over pop culture like Game of Thrones did again. Find the best builders and set them to the task. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.